Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. I uh, just wanted to do a little update here on the um, annual 24-hour uh, build that we just uh, completed this weekend. Um, it actually started at 12 o'clock on Saturday and finished at 12 o'clock on Sunday. And um, I made it almost all the way through. I took a nap for about probably 45 minutes or so. Uh, Sandy actually made it all the way through. Uh, the 24-hour period, and uh, this year I had building with me. Um, my best friend came over, uh, Marcus, and um, he built one of the uh, Tamiya half tracks in 135th scale, and uh, he actually got his completed. But uh, he took about a four-hour nap, and um, but uh, overall it was it was a great time. Uh, I had one of my other good friends come over, uh, Pete. Um, he came over and just hung out with us for a while. He didn't build anything, but um, it was good to have him over. And uh, but it was it was a fun time, and uh, we both got uh, or I, actually all three of us got finished our projects, and um, so it was very successful uh, this year, and uh, very happy with the way they came out. Um, for the most part, uh, doing something in 24 hours when you're real particular on things is is very hard to do, but. Um, I don't have uh, Marcus's here to show you the, the half track. Um, he actually took his with him because he wanted to uh, finish up some decal work on it. But overall, it, it came out and it, and it got done. He just didn't uh, finish all the decals. and uh, But he took it home with him to do that, so I won't be able to show you that one. But the first one we're going to show you is uh, Sandy's uh, little um, uh, casket rod that she done, uh, an old AMT kit. And uh, I'll just go ahead and tilt the camera down here and I'll show you that. And then after that one, um, I'll switch off the uh, base and I'll show you the uh, aqua rod that I've done. So here we go with our 24 hour builds. Okay, there's the casket rod that Sandy done. Um, she done a, a very good job on it. Uh, she was getting tired there toward the end, so some of the details aren't quite up to par. It's the same way they are on mine and, and probably anybody else that's done the 24-hour build. Uh, it, it's a very tough thing to do. But overall, she's done a real good job on this thing. Um, she swapped out the uh, uh, rear wheels and tires um, for some stuff I had in my parts kit. And uh, they look a little bit better than what came with, with the actual kit. And the... Uh, the gold color you see on it is uh, Tester's One Shot Lacquer uh, Aztec Gold, I think it is, um, or, or Inca Gold, that's what it's called. Um, and everything else is um, Vallejo. Um, uh, let's see, she used um, metallic gray. She used a little bit of um, the natural steel, uh, gun metal, just various colors of brushed on um, Vallejo stuff. And uh, overall, it came out real good. She had a couple problems with the canopy and a few things here and there. But, um, you know, for doing a 24-hour build and, and actually completing the model and, 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 and the challenge, um, you know, it, it came out well. Uh, she's going to go back over a few things on it and detail it up a little bit more um, when she's not so tired. So uh, we're actually still recovering from this thing. But uh, that's how hers came out. And um, big congrats to her. For, uh, getting it done and uh, like I say she cleaned up all the mold lines and you know all the injector pin marks that you can see and you know seams and stuff like that so done a real good job on it so we'll swap that one out for this contraption that I've done and um, this is actually the aqua rod and see if I can zoom out here a little bit there we go and I got it, uh, for the most part, it's pretty much complete. Um, there is some details I still need to add and um, just a couple of things that I want to do a little bit different on it. But overall, for the 24-hour build, I, I accomplished what I wanted to. Um, now, anybody that knows this kit knows that it comes with a uh, flat six-cylinder engine that goes back here in the rear. And uh, that was one of the things that I wanted to change right off the bat. So uh, what I did is I... I actually bought the uh, old Tarantula Slingshot Dragster kit, and uh, that's got a Ford um, single overhead cam motor in it, blown, and I put that motor up here, uh, made my own motor, uh, motor mount for it, and um, changed up the 
transmission and the torque tube and things like that and um, just kind of blended some parts together and made it work out and we painted this thing with house of color um, lake violet pearl is the main color the purple that you see the bluish purple and uh, the yellow and the green are all Tamaya uh, straight out of the can and uh, all the chrome work on it is actually uh, Spazdix chrome uh, all the kit chrome was stripped off of this and the chrome actually come out very well so I was real happy with that and I swapped the wheels out for some uh, aluminum and photo etched wheels and I put the uh, the transparent uh, amber glass in it it comes with four different shades of glass so I went with the amber and uh, all the bolts um, like up here around the top you'll see these bolts uh, they're all Tiki train bolts it's been uh, done with spastic chrome and I still have to finish up some around the front here and it, like I say there's some more details I want to put on it and um, I just kind of went goofy on the engine and instead of using the uh, scoops with the uh, seams that were impossible to get out of the two-piece uh, scoops that they give you I went ahead and used the valve covers that came in this kit uh, for air cleaners uh, on top of this uh, twin intake blower setup that they have here so that was something a little bit different and uh, but other than that it's pretty much box stock I, I modified it a little bit not a whole lot and but you know real happy with the way it came out and like I say for a 24 hour build we done good on those and uh, we at least you know got them up to this point and pretty much complete uh, like I say I will do some more uh, final details on mine and Sandy will on hers also to get ready for the uh, upcoming show season and we'll be putting these probably in miscellaneous class or, um, you know, some kind of a custom rod class or something like that. So uh, we'll keep you up to date on, you know, how well they do at the shows. Um, it's going to be tough to do real well because, like I say, they're uh, building something in 24 hours. It's real hard to uh, put a lot of detail in it. But um, I don't know if anybody else participated in the 24-hour build. They have it every year um, toward the end of January. And uh, I noticed there was a comment that came up said they couldn't find it on Facebook. Uh, just punch in annual 24-hour build, and uh, it should pop right up. And, um, you know, next year, if anybody is, uh, you know, like throughout this year, is thinking about doing the project, um, you know, it's a fun thing to do, uh, especially if you have some other people building with you um, to see what you can turn out in 24 hours. So, uh, you know, I'll keep everybody up to date when we get to... Uh, that point next year and let you know about it and uh, see if we can get a link or something posted so you can uh, sign up with uh, Gary Kolchuk to get on the um, roster of uh, who's building so uh, that's all I've got for this video I've got another video coming up right after this it'll be on the uh, progress that I've got done on the ProStar um, it's not uh, up to the point that I want it to be but um, by this time but we're getting closer, and um, I was hoping to have everything in, uh, clear, all the uh, paintwork done, clear coat done on it by the 24-hour build. Um, so I could let all that stuff dry up and then start on um, putting the interior and everything together this week. But that didn't happen. I ran into some uh, issues with the paint and um, some with the decals. And so we're using this week to finish up that. So um, everything's looking like we'll be going into clear coat on, uh, by the weekend. On that project so uh, but like I say that's coming up in the next video and um, I also have some videos coming up uh, tutorials and um, just kind of uh, answering some questions that people have asked about uh, I didn't forget about you I've just been real busy here lately and you know with the pro star and, and work and you know doing things around the house and getting ready for the 24-hour build and doing the 24-hour build uh, it's been kind of hectic so uh, I will definitely get those uh, videos up for you and um, for everybody that asks on, you know, different things. So uh, look forward to them. Um, stay tuned for them. They'll be coming up. And uh, I'm going to let you go on this video. Um, like always, I thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.